Black holes in nutshell. Black holes are mysterious and powerful objects of our universe. So let me tell you about how are they formed. When a star has exhausted its internal thermonuclear fuels at the end of its life and gravitational force wins, the core becomes unstable and gravitationally collapses inward upon itself. And hence, that is when black holes are formed. Although we don't fully understand them, they keep us fascinated. For all their mystery, we do know that black holes exist. The idea of a body so massive that even light could not escape. We all know that light has no rest mass, then why is it affected by black hole? This is because they bend space time more than anything else in the universe because of their extreme densities, which according to general relativity of Albert Einstein means that energy can bend space and time. This curvature is known as gravity. According to Einstein, gravity is affected by mass as well as energy. So, if we take two identical bodies, one colder and one hotter, then the hotter one will have more space-time curve than the colder one. Since photons travel in a straight line through space-time, the curving of space-time causes them to follow a curved path. Every black hole has an event horizon. This is a point at which the gravitational pull from its center becomes so great as to make escape impossible. Light emitted from within the event horizon can never reach the observer, and things that fall in can never escape. The more massive the black hole, the larger the event horizon. Ever wondered what's inside a black hole? Well, physics gets insane inside a black hole. Like, literally. According to theory, there is something called singularity in a black hole. It is a point of infinitely small size and infinite density. All the original mass of the star that formed the black hole and all the matter that it sucked in is still there, but it is crushed out of normal existence. And hence, all the laws of physics as we know break down. So. What would happen if you fell inside a black hole? If it were a stellar mass black hole, you'd be dead before you even passed the event horizon. Although the end result will be the same, but falling into a supermassive or intermediate mass black hole would be less of a nightmare. And you might actually make it all the way to the event horizon and start falling into singularity without dying. However, before falling into singularity, you will be stretched vertically and compressed horizontally into a long thin shape due to a very strong gravitational field. And this is called spaghettification. But do you know, these cosmic monsters die too. That is through a process called Hawking radiation. It is a thermal radiation predicted to be spontaneously emitted by black holes. Hawking radiation reduces the mass and rotational energy of black holes, and it is therefore known as black hole evaporation. Due to this, black holes which do not gain mass through other means are expected to shrink and ultimately vanish. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe our channel for more.